Hello and welcome to AES's Network Management System training on the Network Analysis Tools. In order to find the Network Analysis Tools, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll below where it says Network Pulse and you'll see the Network Analysis Tools are located right below the chart. We have three columns, one for IP links, one for subscribers, and one for your radio mesh. One of the more important reports, I think, is our Top Talkers report. If you click on this, you will see how often a subscriber is transmitting on the network. This is top subscribers generating events other than check-ins in the last 24 hours. And you can see subscriber 006B has generated 14,787 events in the last 24 hours. So obviously that is a bit more than we would expect. So what we can do is click on the subscriber ID and scroll down and first we see the RF check-in interval is set to one minute and the internet check-in interval is also set to one minute and then we can see all of the different event codes that were sent so we're getting a zone one prior check-in trouble IP check-in trouble zone one prior and you can go through and see all the events that are listed so we have the next thousand events quite a few events that are generated so somebody would want to go and look at this radio uh, uh, just because of all the traffic that it's generating on the RF network. Below that, we have top repeaters. This will show which radio subscribers are doing the most repeating. Another very important report is our top repeaters report. This will show how often a subscriber is passing along a packet from another subscriber as part of your AES radio mesh network. So here we see subscriber ID has only repeated one, sent one packet along. This is because at AES headquarters, we have a very small network in a very tight area, so there's not a lot of repeating going on. But if you did did have a lot of repeating going on, what you could do is install an IP link in that location so that traffic gets sent directly to the central station, or you could install a hybrid subscriber, one of our new products that's half subscriber, half IP link, and we'll also turn that RF traffic into internet traffic and pass it along to the central station. Late check-ins is another report I would frequently visit just to show which subscribers are late to check-in. A lot of the time this is because the subscribers subscribers are having issues connecting to our AES radio network, so these should be followed up on as soon as possible. Additionally, we have frequent check-ins. This is just to identify radios that are putting too much radio traffic on your network. Our subscriber 006B has transmitted 2,887 times in the last 24 hours. We generally suggest the check-in interval to be set to 2345, so this number generally should be about 1. There are some Berg applications uh, where you would be expected to check in more often. Below that, we also have subscriber service log this will show all of the issues on all of the subscribers on your network so if you're headed to a location for another project maybe check this report and see if there's any subscribers that require service along the way or group them so that the less travel time the better we also have a subscriber security this will show in case there's any suspicious activity, tampers being opened, or if a subscriber has the same subscriber ID as another subscriber, one of them will be added to the quarantine. Important to check that to make sure you don't have any subscribers in quarantine. The other reports are going to be the load on the IP links. So we'll select this and it will show the breakdown of the load by IP link. Note that the IP links don't do any load balancing. Any radio traffic that goes to the IP link will be picked up first. So if you have one antenna that's much higher than the other, that will see a lot more traffic. We also have IP service log. We don't have any faults on any of our IP links, but if you did, you could view that there as well. The last column is our mesh radio network. So we have the number of hops. As you can expect, because we didn't have any repeating, we don't have any subscribers with four or more hops. We recommend at AES that you have 80% of your radios with four or less hops. We also have a report for act delays. We don't have any act delays to report in the last 24 hours. One thing that you can do is, once again, install an IP link or a hybrid in an area with high occurrences of act delays. Consider relocating the subscriber or the antenna for better RF reception. And our last report is the Netcon report, which will show any subscribers who have 
reported netcon issues in the last 10 days. So we see subscriber 004A has reported two netcon events in the last 10 days, and we can scroll down and see those here, whether there was a restoral sent or not, or if it's still experiencing the netcon issue. And that's all we have for today. Thank you very much for taking the time to learn about AES's network analysis tools. Please stay tuned for more videos in the future about other AES products.